Послушай меня Еще не время Чуть позже я дам тебе, дам тебе, дам тебе Знак Hi guys! <laughs> I'm going to do a project. I like the napkins, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover one of these boxes. This is a box from um, the Dollar Tree store that I had picked up, and this one's a square one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this napkin on it, on the tops and the sides, and probably even the bottom since I have so much. And since I'm using one of Natasha's beautiful napkins, I am going to first separate it because it's in different layers and try to get it down to the um, thinnest layer we've got. So if you just wet your fingers, you can pull it off the last layer. And be careful around the edges because that's where the napkin is embossed down to all the layers. So now I have just the thin top one and I'm just going to lay it down and see where I would like it on here. I'll bring it right up to the edge here. And then what I'm going to do is just run it down with my fingers, kind of rub around the edges. So I get the shape of the top of the box. So I know where I'm going to put it on there when I remove it. I'm going to set it there. I'm going to attach this with the Rangers uh, multimedium in matte. And you use it just like you would um, Mod Podge, which you could also use. I just happen to have this. And I'm going to run it across the top of the box. It dries pretty quick, so you kind of have to be quick at it. Remember the top, the front. Okay, and then I'm going to lay this down right where I had it. Because it is a napkin, you have to be careful because it will tear, and I'm going to use that to my advantage on the edges because it's wet instead of having to um, use your scissors you can just tear it down the side it comes off pretty neat a little feathering is nice because we're going to be merging the layers together so if you just bring it down on the sides and you place it standing up And then when we put the other pieces on, it'll be nice. Now, I do want to seal the top of this napkin also, so I'm just going to run some of this on top. That'll protect it for use. And also seal all the edges so the paper, the tissue, doesn't come up. And just kind of give it a nice... Okay, this has to dry. We will also be doing all the sides the same way. I may want to rip those off as I do go around. So I'm just going to tear a piece. And then I'll just be layering it on like this. So I'll speed up this part.
Okay, now I've done the um, the box. I did not do the inside because I'm going to be putting um, sticky notes in here. So it's all covered. And I'm going to ink around the edges, trying to give it a little dimension. So I'm going to use my favorite, which is the gathered twigs. It's going to give it a little bit of an antique look. And I have to find my little inking thing. Here we go. So we just get it in there and then I'm just going to run it around the edges very lightly and it uh, starts to give it that nice look that I like, the vintage. So we go around all the edges down on the bottom, anywhere that I think it needs to be done. And then I'll go over it a couple times to get it the color I want. You know, darker ink if you wanted to. I like that look. So now we are going to add some decoration on it. And I will fast forward it during this process so you don't have to sit and watch me think about it. <laughs> so we'll take out some of these things that I got from Natasha. And I thought maybe this piece with one of these on top would look cute. And I might want to add some white on there. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach these two together. So I'm going to get my little glue gun here and put a blob in the middle and then set this on top. Try not to burn my hand. And now in the flower there is those raised little dots. I left this side open for a reason <laughs> if you're wondering. I'm going to put in these little pearls in the little spaces here. And uh, I'm going to do that off camera. And then I have a whole bunch of little knickknack thingies here that I'm going to put on the box also. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there we are with the little pearls in it. And this little guy is a little odd, but it's uh, I had put a little glue in the holes first and then put the pearls on. Then I will be attaching that there those things out of the way. Um, to glue it I used uh, this and it has a applicator on it and then you put a pin in it so it was very easy to fill up the little holes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach, um, I got this at Natasha's shop and I put a little button on the side so I'm gonna be attaching that down here and I have some metal pieces that I'm gonna put up here on that side and this little swirly bee down here and then some of the flowers that I've gotten from Natasha and um, Little Lord Joy, it's a wood piece and then I'm going to cut one of these and I'm going to attach it here and there so I'll be doing that too so I'll put a speed up on that
Now I'm going to add some texture paste. This is white and I put some like little snow around. It's really thick. Now I need to get a brush. And I'm gonna take it and we're going to add some texture. Okay, now I'm going to add a little uh, white acrylic paint onto it, so just give it a little more whiteness. And I'll just touch it on a few things here, give it kind of a little snow look. dry and then I will just stick some sticky notes inside so I'll show you the finished product okay well here it is in its uh, entirety finished the top and the sides the backs finished and the front and it does have its sticky notes inside they fit inside perfect these are just your standard sticky notes that you use and I will be using this downstairs in the kitchen for the holidays. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you like. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.